it, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult having no news. It's difficult dealing with no information about how he is. Uh, that being said, I have full confidence in the authorities here in Gaza, um, in their ability to make progress on this issue. I know very well how hospitable the Palestinian people are, so I know they will be taking care of him. Uh, and I, I just hope that things will move, make some progress today. Uh, you know, the bottom line is there is no good reason for these two men to be held. They are friends of the Palestinians. They have been here telling the Palestinian story for, for weeks now, when the rest of the world's media has not been here. They are comfortable in this environment. They are good men. They are... I can't, I can't see any good reason for, for keeping them here. And uh, I think the authorities see that exactly the same way. What they have said to us is that there, are no, there is no political organization in, uh, in Gaza, no official political organization that backs this kidnapping. But it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. You're going to come home to me. The uh, Palestinian authorities have offered every cooperation. Uh, as I say, they uh, are very uh, upset. Uh, they have condemned the, the kidnapping and they have assured me that they are doing everything that they can uh, for a quick and speedy resolution. I think I'm just going to take a call. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Mm, hello.